Hi guys, so today we've got a, a Renault Megane 1.6 uh, It's a 2009 and the issue that the customer is complaining about is the temperature gauge on the dash will always stay at the first bar so it will not get up to operating temperature on the dash so we're probably looking at a faulty coolant temperature sensor but just to rule out anything else what I'm going to do is have a quick look on the live data I believe um, on these they've got two so one's for the engine control module and one is for the you know the cluster but I may be wrong so I've actually got this car up to operating temperature so let's see what the coolant temperature is if we can find it here there's quite a lot of data pads so don't think it'll be that um, maybe let's see oh. that's the thing with these Megans the you know it eventually shuts down so you need to hold the start stop this has got start stop so this can be a bit of a pain so as we can see we've got water temperature we've got 66 uh, degrees it's definitely not what's reading on the on the coolant temperature um, on the dash so if we start up what we'll do is we'll just let it idle go on to graph mode yeah, you can see we we are going up yeah. so to me there is a separate um, coolant temperature sensor on these so I'll need to go and dig in that engine bay and find it and once I've found it, I'll get back to you. So I did indeed find the coolant temperature sensor. So what I'm going to do, just for the video purposes, is I'm going to run through a wiring check. So on the coolant temperature sensors, you should have a 5 volt reference. Um, and obviously a ground so what we'll do is we'll run through the wiring check on it make sure that's okay which I believe it will be So I've got my multimeter connected to an own good ground. And with so this wire back probed, you can see that we've got five volts. And I move over to the other wire you can see we've got zero which is a ground anyway but if we turn the meter to continuity then we know that we've got a good ground We can also test that with a test light. So I'll go and grab a wee 150 milliamp test light and we'll do the same test. So I'm connecting my test light to battery positive. And 
they go. Back down to that plug. So the wire colour that we're looking for is the white with a black tracer. What I can do is just gently stick my back probe into the pin. So, if I stick my back probe into the pin, just like that, and have my test light, you see, see if my test light doesn't quite light up. So that means we've got a good ground, so we can start stripping the sensor and replacing that. We are going to lose. So we started the engine up, topped it up with water. Now this being an aftermarket sensor, the plug connector wasn't too friendly to go on. So just had to mess about with it a bit. Uh, so we'll run it for a while, check the leaks, make sure the temperature is working as it should. And that's a fix. Had the vehicle running for about 20 minutes now and we're all good. As you can see, temperature gauge is up, so I'm happy with that and that'll do for today.